you'll get nothing out of me. Nothing. Insects like you would... Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains. Caught him sniffing around your Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is a province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! <clears throat> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Think you can swill with the best? Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wickman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Locals said they saw someone running from the outskirts of the city to the river, just before the attack. Did they recognize the person? No, they couldn't be seen through the fog. But whoever it was, they knew something bad was coming. Garland puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Garland sees an important meaning. Garland told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes, people thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. 
We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Abel. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I have an iron stomach and a powerful thirst!
altar is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Show me what lies ahead. Let me continue. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. cowering within the monastery.
Come here. Raise me to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Return to camp before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. But going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew, crops will return with time, but trust that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, Soma. The end of the storm is well in sight. You're right, I know you're right. It's just it's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. I would have done the same in your position. That is calming to hear. Which reminds me. I have this for you. Keep it. Knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yaltskona. My deepest thanks. And... there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of... understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon.
Tibor! Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah! Soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Generous one. Is that it? I'm off. Be well, friend. Goodbye, Eivor. Eivor. May I see your stores? I do good. I'm a Be well, my friend.
good day. A new customer. You I do not recognize, my friend. What brings you to settle here? Are you merchants? Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life, but most likely I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. For now, no ma Now that you are friends with me, you are. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. I brought something for you. Thanks, 
Eivor. I must take my leave. Farewell, Eivor. Good day, Eivor. Can you remind me what you do here? If you want to deal with your raiders, you come through me. I'll make sure they're ready for you and keep them in fighting shape. You need to build some barracks. Otherwise, these raiders are going to get soft. And we can't have that. I will see you later, friend. Goodbye, Eivor. crew ever to sail the rivers of England. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. on me, Eivor. I'll show you and the gods my worth. I will be patient for honor and glory. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And... Your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? 
I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! God, Sepo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flecks of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. All these people you have brought here, this life you have built on these stranger shores, does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question, which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home.
Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I have seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I will build you something when I can. Have patience. Tell me about what you do here. If you find any Roman artifacts out there in the world, bring them here. I'll appraise them and see they're given a good home. With me. I have to go. See you soon. Vale, Eivor. Newt, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who's we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt and badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Come on, Eivor. Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. 
If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. Just opening it. I'll free that wolf and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is sad. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you. I think. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf! The wolf What? The wolf It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her... Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her... Chewy. Because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Chewy, I suppose. Good as any other. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! We got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well... Have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? 
Now scamper off home, and take your new friend with you. Good to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Firna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter. And a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. I met him. Redder. A strange young man, but somehow charming. He will make for fine company, I think. I look forward to knowing him better. 